Well, I don't know how many people have actually had a swarm turn up in a bee box and said, hello, I'm gonna make a house in here. Well, I'm sure you're all out there in bee land has done that before, so we thought we'd better get out of here and put these girls in some semblance of order before we get through much into winter. I know over there in America, you guys are getting into spring. Well, we're just in the sort of the throngs of autumn, so topsy-turvy, so there you go, at the other end of the world. Ah, here we go, as the sun's setting. Golly gosh, I don't know where the days go. They're just like, poof, especially when they're short, seeing we're coming into winter. Here's our little bee box that was sitting at home and the girls decided to make themselves a home. They're at the top and in the bottom, so they're flying in the side of the box. So I thought we better come in here and straighten them out before winter turns up, otherwise, well, otherwise it'll be too bloody cold to straighten them up. Here we go. Oh, where's the... Did you bring the smoker? No, you didn't bring a smoker. Oh, hang on. I'll go and get one. Oh. Oh. Would have been easier to put the tarp back, wouldn't it? <laughs> right. Getting weak in your old age. Oh, I'm getting old in my old age. <laughs> oh, I tell you. I do -do 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 -do. <laughs> Come on, don't be so horrid. Oh, look at that. There's still some rag left in it. <sighs> the other day, I had this in the bloody trailer, pissing down rain, so all my bag got wet, and that was rather entertaining. Ever tried to light a wet bag? It's not that easy, but still. Anyway, it's all dried out nice now. I reckon I've said that before. I wonder what would happen if you had the old hemp bags. Would all the girls get stoned? <laughs> At least they'd be relaxed. It says command gas. There's no command in there. It's been bone dry. Bone dry, I tell you. Path the magic dragon lived by the sea. That was something about stoning, wasn't it? Path the magic dragon. I'm pretty sure they were like sitting around getting excited. I'm not exactly sure why he was living by the sea, but I reckon the best story I've heard lately is there was a beautiful young lady. I think her mum was a preschool teacher, and her mum was singing the song Path the magic dragon with her class, and. Um, I think there was a certain young man that described, do you know what Puff the Magic Dragon was actually about? It was actually about getting completely drug fucked. So, the people involved will probably know who I'm talking about, so I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> right, suits on. Like a ninja turtle. I don't really know what we're going to find in here because when I went to move this box from off the stand where the wife was trying to clean the wax the other week, I picked it up and I thought, oh, well, that would be good. I'll just have them in the bottom, but they're all in the top of the box, I think. So it's a little bit of an upside down, inside out and back to front. Rightio, ladies, what have you done? I have the hope they haven't built this way too much because I'm not even sure what frames were in here. I didn't actually know these girls were in here until we were starting to clean the frames. <laughs> so that was a great effort. What's going on? They don't seem really psycho, do they? <laughs> this box was not actually meant to have bees in it. It was meant to be getting cleaned up. So <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Don't judge me too harshly because I'm not sure what's going on. Oh shit, actually it's going on pretty good in here. <laughs> oh, you ladies are going to be acceptable, I reckon. Oh, my God, I wonder where they came from. Anyway, they're not even completely psycho. We'll pull this box off here, and we'll see what's going on below. But I think they've, I think they've all, I think they're all living up the top here, but I don't know. Knock, knock, knocking on the bee box instead of knocking on heaven's door. I don't think knock, knock, knocking on the bee box would have quite had the same ring to it as knocking on heaven's door, would it? <laughs> oh, you girls are expanding. I reckon. What are you got going on? 
Oh, golly, my poor old body. All right, so I don't know, I'm looking at this and I'm thinking, depending on what they've done in here, we might actually just put these girls, if those frames are acceptable, with some new frames in this bottom box. And that might be all we end up doing because being that it's at close to the wrong end of town here, we don't want to stir them up too much being that it's coming into winter. We want to be a little bit nice to them. I did actually find a new base to put on the bottom of this one because that was a bit interesting. I actually thought they were in this box and not the other box. <laughs> and these old frames were meant to be on, these are on the cleaning up heap. <laughs> so they were meant to be getting cleaned. As you can see, they've been a little bit old. So I reckon what we're going to do is we're going to take the frames in here that have got the brood and then we've got some nice new frames there that we can put next to it so they can find some nice new frames to breed on. And then when we come back here after the winter, these ladies will be all ready to rock and roll out into the workforce. Things will be happening. They're not the friendliest girls, I don't think. Mind you, they haven't stung the cameraman yet, so that's, that's a good sign. Or have they? <laughs> I'll jinx you, see, I'll mention you and then you'll be in trouble. You're getting a bit excited down here. Golly gosh. <laughs> it's all right, chicks. Cut it out. Get these out of the way for a minute. Oh, help. <laughs> now they're getting a bit stirred up, aren't they? We'll give them some nice new comb, I think. <sighs> I wonder what the old Egyptians used to think. Like, we've been full arsing around with bees forever. You imagine if they came back today and they saw how we carry on with these blooming bees on all these cool little removable frames. I reckon they'd be pretty impressed. It's got a little bit of honey, so I'm thinking I might actually, well, depending on what we find as we go in there, we might leave that on board even. So they seem to be, they're building that reasonably uniformed. They've definitely got themselves a bit toey here. <laughs> Ooh, that's got some weight. Wow. And they're still bringing some nectar in, which is nice. So they're still ripening up some new stuff. So that's cool. At this time of year when you're like, obviously this is our autumn. It's different over there when you're getting in spring. But this time of year, if you can see this little glistening, glistening little bit of young nectar that they're bringing in, that's a pretty good sign that they're still finding something to eat. And if you don't see any of that in your hive, you probably better th start thinking about whether you're going to feed them. What else have we got in here? Hopefully there's somebody in here laying eggs, that'd be the next bit. <laughs> oh, there's some nice new nectar there as well. They're not the most relaxed ladies, but that's all right. <laughs> oh, I wonder what they're feeding on. They've found some nice stuff going here. I wonder, like that little lady there, she's in the nectar sack. I wonder, like, when I watch them working, I'm guessing they could fill up their honey tummy and their legs full of pollen all at the same time and make one trip, make it more efficient if, they, if the plant's got pollen and honey. I would assume that's possible. Oh, here's the eggs. Definitely laying, so she's keen. She's got a nice little pattern there. Well, that's a good sign. Even without getting fed. Like artificially fed. You just never, never know unless you have a look, do you? I don't know, that's always the controversy, isn't it? Whether you're open feed or blooming in the box feed. Oh my golly gosh. Now, I would suggest if you're in suburbia, you don't want to put a pot of sugar out for your bees to eat because every bee within 5k's is going to come and eat it. If you're in the middle of nowhere of course and there's not too many wild bees or you know native bees they might get called but wild bees I call them then you can open feed and your bees will get that food because I've, I've seen a lot of ones like in in the states when they are feeding of course but they've got jolly lots and lots of apiaries within flying range of each other so you don't want to be feeding the neighbours with your sugar. I was talking to this guy down in the hills and he had a hundred hives and he said he was busy feeding and feeding and carrying on and trying to do the right thing and the girls were eating his blooming sugar water like you wouldn't believe and he said oh my goodness I couldn't keep up and then he drove over the hill and there was 300 hives just over the hill that weren't getting fed so I think they might they and he says well I don't know so if you're not sure about open feeding I suggest you go for a drive around, around to see if you've got any other neighbours that have got bees. Otherwise you might be wasting a lot of your sugar on the neighbours' bees. And that's not real sensible. Or economical. Well, economical for your neighbour, but not for you. I reckon we're going to have to shake the rest of these in here because I haven't seen the boss, so I'm just going to make sure. The last thing you want to do 
at towards autumn is lose the queen because it's a bit late on for breeding at the minute. And that would kind of defeat the purpose, that would. I don't know where she is, so we're just going to shake her in there just to make sure. Oh, everybody said it's a bloody earthquake! I don't know, how crazy is that lid? Is that a bit of crap? I don't know, it's actually the right size at least. Well, since they know that this is how it smells, we'll put this in here, I reckon. Well, I'm just thinking I've got to get two more frames to put in the edge there. Let's have a look, make sure there's no queen. Well, at least get two new frames in the thing. I don't want to stir her up too much. If this was in the spring, I'd probably shake them all downstairs and put a queen excluder in there and actually refresh all these old frames. But it's autumn down here in Oz, so it's going the wrong way of the season. So I don't want to mess them up too much. I'm just going to give them a couple of fresh frames on the side. They'll love that, plant up some new eggs on. So they'll be able to put some nice new, build that out while they're getting bored. No, I reckon that old lid, <laughs> that old lid will be all right because at least they know the smell of that old lid. Coming into the new season, we'll change all this around. But I don't want to give them any more work than they already have. So they're, they're doing a nice job, bringing in a bit of nectar. They're laying up a few nice bit of brood. So I don't want to upset them too much. I just want them to be a bit neat by the time I get here of spring. Uh, I'm not totally convinced about this fabric tape because you can, I mean, obviously these old hive locks, they used to have the metal, metal strip which I've got some as well. And I really think the metals actually works better, even though it's a bit more expensive and a bit more of a pain. But when you're trying to hold this stuff together, this, these, these fabric ones are really cool for the poly hives and that, that are a bit more or less, well, you don't want to put wire on them, otherwise you cut a hole in the bloody things. But for my money, I think the metal straps are better. So if you're online and you happen to be ordering your strap, perhaps fit the ones that's metalized. Hey, you what? He could have told me I didn't put the mat in, couldn't he? I don't know. Bloody hard to get good help, isn't it? <laughs> God, I tell you what. Sorry, girls. Sorry, sorry, ladies. It's all right, sorry me. Don't get too cranky. They're like, what the hell? We've lost half our house. Imagine if you came home and someone had taken you upstairs. You said, no, too bloody bad. <laughs> You'll be right. At least it saves on heating, you see. That's the thing. <laughs> I'm not sure how you'd get on explaining to your teenage kids that their bloody bedrooms have just been stolen. But <laughs> still. <laughs> oh my goodness me. Hey, I'm getting too old for this crap. I'm just watching the ladies try to reorientate. Because they had a hole in this bloody, when it was in this box. Cause they had a hole because this old box is only a nine frame and a bit. I don't know. Anyway, that's a whole other story. <laughs> so they were flying in the side. So, But they just, they look like they're going to orientate to the opening at the bottom. Which is what I want them to do. Which is what they're supposed to do. But I'll come back here tomorrow, and if they're not, then maybe I'll just wriggle the lid across so I can keep them in and out. I think, for a free swarm, I'm pretty happy with that. Oh, I reckon that's all right. Pop these old crappy frames in my old crappy box, then I can take them home, and my poor dear wife will say, I thought I'd finish cleaning frames. <laughs> I don't know that you ever finish cleaning frames with this career. It just seems to go on and on.